Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can create this premium looking 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video first. Let's remove this text effect so we can start from scratch. The font size will be 280 point and the font you can use any bold font. I'm using this integral CF heavy and let's enter this to the artboard. Next, click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here, click on this add new fill icon and now let's change the color of this layer. Then click OK. Next, let's duplicate this layer. And now let's change the color of this layer to white. Next, we need to apply offset path to this white layer. For that, let's go to effect, path and offset path. And let's, let's apply a minus seven pixel offset path and change the joints to round then click OK. Next, we'll apply a Gaussian Blur to this layer. For that, let's go to Effect, Blur and Gaussian Blur and apply a 35 pixel Gaussian Blur. Then click OK. Next, select this layer and then go to Effect, Path and Offset Path and apply a one pixel offset path then click ok next go to effect stylize and inner glow and we need to apply a white color inner glow to this layer for that we need 65 percent opacity and eight pixel and then click ok Next, duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color. Next, click OK. Then click on this arrow. We don't need any inner glow for this layer. So let's delete this. Next, select this offset path and let's remove this too. Now select this layer, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Here in Move section, we need 0 pixel for horizontal and 8 pixel for vertical, and then click OK. Next, we need to apply Gaussian Blur to this layer. For that, let's go to Effect, Blur, and Gaussian Blur and apply a 18 pixel Gaussian Blur, then click OK. Next, click on Opacity and let's change the Blend Mode to Multiply and let's close this layer. Next, duplicate this layer. Now, let's select this layer and let's change the color. then click OK. Next, click on this arrow and let's apply offset path to this layer. For that, let's go to effect, path and offset path. And we need to apply a 15 pixel offset path and then click on joints and change to round. Then click OK. We don't need Gaussian blur for this layer. So let's delete this and also change the blend mode to normal. And now let's select this layer and let's apply inner glow to this layer. For that, let's go to effect, stylize and inner glow. On this layer, we need 50% opacity 
and five pixel for this blur and then click OK. Next, click on this transform and let's change the vertical value to seven. Then click OK. Next, let's duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color. Then click OK. Next, click on this arrow. Then click on Transform. Let's change the values. Horizontal, we need 2 pixels for horizontal and 10 pixels for vertical. And then click OK. We don't need any inner glow for this layer. Let's remove this. Now let's close this layer. Now duplicate this layer. Now select this layer. And let's change the color of this layer. Next click OK. Now click on this arrow. Next, we need to apply another transform effect to this layer. For that, let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Click on Apply New Effect. And this time, we need to we need one pixel for vertical, and we need thirty copies. Then click OK. Next, we need to apply Inner Glow to this layer. For that, let's go to Effect, Stylize and Inner Glow. Click on this color and apply this color. Then click OK. We need 100% opacity and 25 pixel blur. And then click OK. Next, select this layer. Duplicate this layer. Now select this last layer and change the color of this layer to black. Then click on this arrow and let's change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. Next, click on this transform. Let's remove this. Then click on this inner glow and let's remove this too. Now click on this transform. And let's change the values 0 pixel for horizontal and 40 pixel for vertical and then click OK. Next, select this layer, then go to effect, blur, and Gaussian blur, and apply a 20 pixel Gaussian blur. Then click OK. Let's move this layer a little bit down. For that, let's go to Transform. And let's increase this to 45 pixels. And then click OK. Click on Offset Path. And let's change the Offset Path values to 12. And then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer. Now click on this layer, then click on this arrow, click on transform, and let's change this to 65 pixel. The vertical value, we need to change this to 65 pixel, and then click OK. Let's change the Gaussian blur to 35 pixel, then click OK and change the opacity to 50%. Next, select this layer, duplicate this layer. Now select this layer, click on this arrow, then click on transform, and change this to 80 pixel, then click OK. Now click on Gaussian Blur, and apply a 45 pixel Gaussian Blur, then click OK. Then go to Opacity and change the 25%. Next, 
Let's close this layer. Click on type. Then go to effect, warp, and arc. Let's apply a 10% band. Then click OK. So here is our final text effect look. If you have learned something from this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.